Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you guys are new here, welcome. And if you guys haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button right there, right in the corner. And today I'm going to do a reaction and review of Drag Race Holland season one, episode one. And you guys, I'm really excited about this. Um, I cannot wait to see the queens. I haven't really seen too much. All I knew was that somebody left me a comment in the last review and the comment that I chose for this video was, and don't have us waiting during Holland. You know those ice queens are gonna turn it out. <laughs> Thank you Tamara for leaving the comment. I know I started late in Canada's Drag Race so that's probably why she mentioned that in this comment. But yeah, I'm starting off early. This is um, season one, episode one, and um, you guys definitely leave your comments throughout this um, video so I can pick your comment in the next video. So yeah, enough of this talking. Let's see what these queens are going to bring and give us, and um, let's see what show-stopping looks they have in store for all of our eyes to see. So let's get ready for this reaction and review, you guys. <laughs> I like this because I guess we're going to be introduced to someone that we don't necessarily know in the States as well. So it's interesting to see how um, their big influencers are out in Holland. Okay, she's cute. Love her look. Yes, Chelsea Boy is, looks really good. <laughs> That's a cute look. That's a cute little perfect look for her. <laughs> That's a cute little pill off. Okay, so this is where we get the Club Kid Queens. This gives me like totally Club Kid. I like it though. I don't mind a, a different type of queen. That was a cute entrance. Here comes the campy queen. I like this one already. It's always something about a campy queen you gotta love. Ooh, who is this? Ooh. She's pregnant. That's so funny. She looked good either way that mug is on. Okay. Her look is cute. I like it. Ooh, wee. That's how you come in. She looks sickening. This is the queen I want to win, darling. That's how you come through. The girls are scared and shaking. Ooh, you can tell on their looks like, okay, here we go. Gag, right. <laughs> I guess you can, I didn't even know who she was, but you can tell that she's just why she is who she is. You know, you can just tell. That's crazy. Okay. Let's see how their pit crew looks. Oh, okay, this caramel little little um piece over there mm. hi pit crew oh this is such a good challenge i remember this oh it's so funny <laughs> but i can save myself <laughs> oh god how is this gonna come out oh no Reality. <laughs> oh, not the lash is doing this. <laughs> oh no. How are they doing? Girl, I would just take all that off. I would just take that off. I would not care. 
What is going on? Oh my god. She did better than the first one. Oh my god, everybody's lashes are gonna be totally off. <gasps> there goes the wig. I guess this first challenge is just basically have fun and make a fool of yourself. Because that's just what it is. Don't take yourself seriously. <gasps> there you go. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, she's naked already, so she should do good. Yes. Work. Yay. Yes. And that's a mermaid mansion. Yes. She did good too, though. There's no sisters in this competition. Yes. Yes, Miss MB. It's not bad though. It's not a bad picture. Oh, okay. It's not bad. Oh, not the pregnant one. I would hold the belly, do something with the belly. Oh, there you go. That's how you do it. Dive, honey. It's cool. The nun is afraid of the holy water. What is going on in Holland? Can you see my ball? <laughs> what queen doesn't wear panties? Panties, darling, panties. She's a naughty nun. That was a good picture, though. That was good. Okay, she's comfortable in the water. You can tell. It seems like it's gonna be some type of bukkakiness in this in this season. Yes, Miss Abby definitely turns it out. Well, it's probably because she was the most naked. What makes you so unique and distinctive that you'll take the cr take the crown off? But tomorrow you're gonna break your legs. <laughs> exactly. Why are you here if you don't know the answer to that question? Oh! <laughs> yes, honey, the game starts right now. Elimination day. Who's the first queen to get chopped? The girls are trying to bring out their costume and jewels and best dressed and drag, honey. Okay, she's giving you Real Housewives of Orange County. She's cute. Oh, that's a really good look. Marie Antoinette, the favorite queen. That's cute. I like that whole look. And you know, I love a period piece. Envy Peru looks amazing. Hmm, that's a cute little look. And Queen B. That is a really good. Ooh, and it's a tear off. Work. I love the concept, I just wish it fit better. You know, I'm a Disney fanatic. I love anything Disney, but I wish the, the, the fit was a lot better. Right idea, slightly wrong execution. Ooh. Okay. Work. That's a sickening look. Maria and her child, that's sickening. <gasps> no. Okay, Diana. I don't know, the look the look isn't Diana it, it is Diana Ross, but it's not a good look. It doesn't look expensive, it doesn't look glant. I don't know, it just looks cheap. Chelsea boy is sickening. Her looks. Her looks are freaking up. Oh my god, look at that tail. That headpiece, that cat suit. Oh, that looks sickening. 
Oh, Freddie Merck from Queen. Sickening. Work. Over. That's, that's sickening. <laughs> if you girls don't know that reference, honey, I don't know what to tell you. Queen of Hearts. Yes, bitch. Sickening look. Cute look. I like this. Ooh, yes, tear off. Oh, it's a carnival queen. You know, Miss Abby, oh my God, really likes to be naked. She's like the fish of the season. It's a cute look, but you on Drag Race. I need some more than that. Mm. No, don't like that answer. Sickening answer. That was cute. <laughs> don't like that answer. Don't like that answer. Don't like that answer. Work. It was cute. Cute. Uh, is that is that right? Is that true? She's the only Brazilian? Safe. All these girls are safe. Room and Megan, bottom two. Top. Oh, surprise me. So Queen B. Yeah, she was good. Oh, she's over it. <laughs> Bottom. Safe. Yeah. This is a good song. They better turn it out. Megan is Megan is singing the song good. Megan is really doing good. Yes, Megan. Megan is having fun with the song. Oh, all right, Miss Room. Megan did that. She's safe. That was the right choice. Don't say never again. Never say never on this competition, baby. Yeah, she needed to up the. She needed to up her game to come on this season. Okay, you guys, so that is the end of my reaction and review of Drag Race Holland episode one. Um, let's see, how can we how can we talk about this episode? Okay, let's get down to the judges. Very good that we are being introduced um, from people from the States, as far as me, that's from the States, being introduced to people that are very popular from out of the country. I like to see and know about other people's uh, pop culture, 
icons that are not in the States and just to learn a little bit more about them as well. Designers, artists, influencers, all that jazz, actresses, models, everything. So that was a good thing. And as far as the host, I don't think she did bad at all. Um, I think obviously she's a really big figure out in Holland, which um, I'm going to definitely look up more stuff about her. If you guys know anything about her, let, let us know down in the comment section below. Um, but I will say about their critiques kind of threw me a little bit. Some of the judges critiques were very like mind blowing to me. Like I never in my life would have heard too much makeup as a critique on Drag Race. Like I was mind blown. That was crazy to me. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, did she just say that? Like too much makeup on Drag Race? I was like, whatever. And as far as the designer, the judge that's a designer calling, um, was it Mama's um, crown and headpiece cheap, which I thought didn't look cheap at all. And saying that her, um, saying that, um, her material that she chose was cheap and didn't look expensive or whatever. And I'm like, I thought it looked really good. I think she totally nailed it. It was a good look for her. It was probably some of the best on, on the runway. And um, yeah, that was just kind of crazy to me. I think that it was just kind of a little bit too harsh or I think they're just trying to get their kinks out of judging, maybe, I don't know. So um, hopefully they give, to me, give better critiques ne next episode. And um, yeah, and then like some of the people didn't understand um, Chelsea Boy's um, Chelsea boys look and saying that, you know, I don't know about that. And I'm like, Whoa, it was, I was just like, it was baffling to me. Um, but yeah, um, as far as the entrance looks, um, I think Miss Envy totally nailed that. That was my best entrance look. As far as the mini challenge in the underwater challenge, um, I think that, um, Miss Abby totally killed it. She looked the best. She was halfway naked anyway, so it was definitely an advantage for her. And as far as the main challenge, I definitely loved Chelsea Boy's look from top to bottom. Looked the most polished, looked great, looked the best. For me, I liked it. Um, I did like the Queen Bee look too as well. That was good, which I think, you know, is deserving for her to win the main challenge, which I didn't mind neither. I was like, okay, that could happen. You know, I, w I wasn't mad about it. But um, as far as the top three queens that I would I would want to, to win, um, the first person on my list that I would want to win is definitely Miss, um, is Miss Envy Peru. Then the next person I would want to win after that is Miss Chelsea Boy. And then the next person after that is the campy queen of the season clearly is Miss Ced Ergreen. I don't know how to pronounce her name, but she's the campy queen. Very funny. It reminds me of Jimbo, but a little bit bigger. Like whatever. But um, let me know you guys' top three queens, who you guys want to win. Let's see if your queens make it to the end and who you guys think had the best entrance look and who did the best in the mini challenge and in the underwater, underwater challenge and who had the best main challenge queen look to you guys. I want to know your guys' thoughts and opinions on this whole episode. So let me know down in the comment section below. I definitely thought that um, between Room and Megan, Megan, and deserve to stay but yeah you guys remember give this video a thumbs up if you guys do like this video and obviously hit the subscribe button right there right in the corner and like always you guys remember life is your vision and it is whatever you make it as long as you make it freaking fabulous until the next one you guys bye